Yeah, absolutely. So super excited to talk a little bit more about Harmony Kareen's new upcoming film, Agro Drift, starring Travis Scott. And this film is one that we've been keeping an eye on and giving you guys some updates about. We finally have the first teaser trailer for this, in addition to a pretty exciting piece of news concerning Harmony Kareen and his new collective, Edgelord. So we're going to get into that in a second. But first, let's go over here and take a look at the first teaser trailer for Harmony Kareen's Agro Drift. This is really short, but let's take a look. I'm the world's greatest assassin. But yeah, there's some of that good infrared cinematography in motion. We talked about wanting to see it in motion, having only previously seen stills and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty cool. I mean, this is based on one of the stills that we've already seen. We get to see the full shot. Looks pretty cool. And then we got the title, Agro Drift. So I think that looks sick. I'm so freaking excited for this movie, which is about to have its premiere um, at, I believe, TIFF. So super excited for that to hear about some of the reactions and then to see it for ourselves and review it here on the channel but yeah really excited to get our first look at this movie some footage from the film what was your reaction to this footage alex i mean i it it, it, may, it actually cleared up a lot of my concerns like i really like the way this movie looks i i was worried that it was just gonna look like a painting because a lot of it just was like okay this could be cool as a painting uh but i think it actually could be like this looks this does look interesting I think this looks freaking awesome. Cannot wait to see some more footage. Anything new from this movie, I'm really looking forward to consuming and talking about. And then again, ultimately seeing the film. But we do have another interesting piece of Harmony Kareen related news. And we talked a bit about his new creative collaborative, that being Edgelord, where he's apparently has a house in Florida with a bunch of artists, visual effects people, cinematographers, all kinds of creative folks and apparently eric Cohn is joining harmony kareen's new multimedia studio edge lord and of course eric Cohn is an indie wire veteran as it says here almost after almost 17 years on staff at indie wire as writer reporter one-time chief critic and columnist eric Cohn is leaving to join edge lord the new multidisciplinary design collective founded by filmmaker and artist harmony kareen as head of film strategy and development in the new job, which begins August 30th, Cohen will focus on developing new films from emerging and established talent for the experimental creative studio. Cohen will be sorely missed. A respected journalist who made an impact on film culture, Cohen shared an expansive enthusiasm for movies, independent cinema, and the future of emerging entertainment technology. Most recently named VP Editorial Strategy and Executive Editor at IndieWire, Cohn started his IndieWire career as a sofa-hopping freelance critic, delivering reviews at festivals like Sundance and Cannes. Cohn said he was inspired by meeting indie, indie heroes such as Bingham Ray. He was compelled not just by the business, but by a passion for the medium itself, said Cohn on the phone. IndieWire has been a cult, a religion, and a lifestyle for me. It's impossible for me to imagine it not being a part of my life i hope that will continue in some fashion this idea of being so passionate about the medium that pervades your professional life cohen joins edgelord's assembly of global creatives as they work to develop new methods that hasten the creation and distribution of art and media he's headed to venice to attend the september 3rd premiere of kareen's latest film agro drift which will also which will also screen at the toronto and the new york film festivals before its fall opening going forward the studio is planning to release original films design objects games and fashion lines that showcase the breadth of the collective's practice so again super interesting stuff i think it's awesome that harmony kareen has started this creative collaborative multimedia studio edgelord i think it's really cool to see all of these artists working in the same spot it kind of reminds me of back in like the 70s when andy warhol had his factory in new york city and a bunch of emerging underground and experimental artists kind of you know came out of that factory and they were really part of that scene who knows if this will amount to anything like that or anything at all but it definitely seems to have the potential to be the birth of a really exciting new art scene a really exciting new artistic movement seemingly led by the genius of harmony 
Kareen, whose new movie, Agro Drift, really does seem to be the first product of this edgelord studio, of this edgelord practice, which, again, seems to be more than just a studio, but kind of like an entire lifestyle, kind of like this entire artistic project that they're embarking on to really experiment and push different mediums forward, whether it's film, gaming, or anything else. So I cannot wait to see what comes out of this. I wasn't really expecting them to bring on a guy like Eric Cohen, who's more of like a movie critic, but it's interesting that they're including him in this, and especially because he wrote a book about Harmony Korean. I guess it does make sense why he's being included, but I am interested to see what role he ends up playing here. As it says, he'll be developing new films from emerging and established talent for the creative studio so i hope he does well over there this is a dream job obviously i wish i could go hang out with these guys down in florida for sure so wish eric the best looking forward to hearing more about this studio and what they produce yeah i think it's a good idea i mean i i think it like i mean harmony i think this probably will bring like definitely some traditional filmmaking to edgelord because when harmony was talking about it he was like these are films but they're not really films I'm like, Eric Cohn's a film dude. So I think that there will be some traditional cinema. And Adam also says the next A24, anyone? I wouldn't I wouldn't say that, but I think that they could get some interesting some interesting work. Um imagine if we got a movie at Edgelord, that'd be sick. <laughs> um that'd be sick. Uh but yeah, I think again, Eric Cohn's a smart guy. He's a great film critic. Um yeah. Absolutely. So we're going to keep you guys updated on all details related to Harmony Kareen and the upcoming project Agro Drift. Seems like a lot of you guys really like to hear us talk about Harmony Kareen stuff, which is super good news for me, being that I am one of his biggest fans ever. I love Harmony Kareen. He's my second favorite living filmmaker, and I'm always super excited to hear about what he's working on what he's cooking up for us to watch and enjoy. So I can't wait for Agro Drift. It's without a doubt my number one most anticipated movie that has not yet been released. So we're going to keep giving you guys details, bringing you guys updates and stories related to that project and everything involving Harmony, Kareen, and Edgelord. 